The blower motor's function is to move air across the evaporator. Um, if you have your heat on, it's moving air through the heater core. Um, this is actually what's spinning and moving air through your vents. The blower motor can be mounted in a few different configurations. You can mount it here like this. Generally, it's gonna be close to your evaporator. So what you're actually doing is moving air through the evaporator into the cap. If you have rear air, you're actually gonna have a separate blower motor in the back that's gonna be controlled by a rear panel. If your blower motor only works on high, a lot of times you're not looking at a bad blower, you're actually looking at a bad resistor or module. What happens is when you turn your air on high, the full 12 volts is bypassing the module. It's actually going straight to the blower motor to get it to turn as fast as possible. As you can see, you have electric components. You have components that can wear. You have components that can burn out electrically. Whenever you do a blower motor job, you always want to make sure that you're checking your resistor or your blower module. Um, that could be cause of a an operable blower motor. The blower motor actually may be good, it's just not getting the signal that it needs to turn correctly. You just want to make sure when you do get a new blower motor, you're looking for the right wheel size, right mounting locations. Most of the time it's going to come with a new gasket. You just want to check for uh, proper spots for your cooling tube to go, um, your connector. Sometimes it may be on a wire, sometimes it can be over here. As long as everything fits properly and there's nothing in a bind, you're good to go. For more tech tips like these, visit gpdtechtips.com.